How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. So right now I'm snacking on some uh, some of nature's candy, some, some mandarins and strawberries. About to cook some banana bread and uh, cook my dinner. I had an eight hour day today because I hit 60 hours. So I originally had a two hour piece, but they gave it to somebody else. I don't know if they found somebody, but they gave my two hour piece to somebody else because I hit 60. Uh, can't be greedy. I'm very thankful I got 60. Uh, hopefully this continues where they send me to other offices. I got sent out to two offices last week. So these offices always need help. So I clock in on their time so I'm able to get the hours over there. Um, and uh, as long as I get my 60, I'm very happy. Um, I also too wanted to talk about uh, a guy I met on the route when I was... Uh, when I was helping out another office, shout out to Sydney in Blue Island. He he's a former postal worker, now retired. He had to retire early actually because he said he had a heart attack. But you know he owns a multi-unit building over there. Uh, he's got a wife and kids and stuff. And like I said, he had to retire early, and he's still really successful and got a lot going for him. So this type of job can really set yourself up like that especially if something like that happens where like you know god forbid you have a heart attack something like that so uh you know he never said no to overtime he's he worked multiple jobs now he wasn't just a carrier he worked other jobs too so shout out to sydney uh two two like-minded people as i told him i'm the same way i'm not even from this office and uh, i'm out here getting it i i'm not obligated to come over here but you know i want this money and i want to make sure I get enough overtime. If I gotta go to Blue Island, Tri-City, if I gotta go to any one of these other offices that are struggling, they need help, they got a carrier who wants the overtime, who wants the money, who wants, you know, who wants the work. Um, they got somebody right here. So um, yeah, shout out to Sydney and Blue Island. Uh, yeah, we're both, we're both very, we're cut from the same cloth. So uh, yeah, if you, Doing this type of job, you know, it's going to set you, yourself up for the long term. I say in a lot of my videos, short term mindset is, is destroying a lot of people because they quit before this job even gets good. Put your time in, you know, be smart with your money. If you say no to overtime, if you say no to a bunch of stuff, I mean, a lot of the overtime is mandatory. But, you know, if you if you always if you're constantly saying no to, you know, you don't want to do overtime or anything extra, you're not going to you're not going to get ahead. If you do certain things to get ahead, you're going to put yourself ahead. Put in the work and the results will come. So uh, thank you all for watching. Again, shout out to Sydney and Blue Island. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.